The tears streaming down his daughter's face immediately struck a nerve. He began to feel the blood pumping in his temples as his blood pressure began to rise. Looking over the fence at his neighbor's smug faces only made things worse. He clenched and unclenched his fist. They had ruined everything. Now, he'd ruined them. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. He could have just let what had happened go, but Scott Hunter wasn't that kind of a man. In fact, his colleagues at the insurance firm had a nickname for him, the Pitbull. Once Scott got his teeth into something, he'd never let go. So when he saw his eight-year-old princess in tears on her own birthday, he knew he had to do everything in his power to make things right. And God helped the people who had crossed him. All Scott and his wife had wanted to do was throw their young daughter a small party. When Nina decorated their yard cheerfully with balloons and inflated the bounce house, she never anticipated that there would be a problem. The day in question turned out to be the worst of young Evie's life. Her parents had worked hard to make sure she had a memorable birthday, but Evie would remember it for all the wrong reasons. Scott and Nina had been living in their home in the suburbs for four years. Unfortunately, there was nothing they could do about the nasty elderly couple living next door. They had squabbles about noise their daughter had made when she played with her friends in the yard. The smoke that wafted over their fence from their barbecue and any other petty reasons the neighbors could find to complain about. For months, Scott and Nina had tried to keep the peace, but the neighbors were about to cross the line. The day of Evie's eighth birthday started on the right note. The weather was perfect. The little girl was excited about her party, and Scott was in good spirits. He mowed the lawn, inflated the kiddie pool, and set up the bounce house. The kids and their parents began to show up. Scott fired up the barbecue while Nina set out the snacks. Nobody noticed two pair of angry eyes peering over the back fence. Hey, Scott, the miserable old man billowed. We are trying to enjoy our porch, so tell your sprogs to shut up. There are children, Bernard. It's a party, Scott said, clenching his jaw and turning around. He continued to work the grill as the children splashed happily in the pool. But he should have known his rude neighbor wouldn't leave it at that. Evie's eyes sparkled when she opened her gifts. For some reason, her favorite present was a large inflatable ball that her grandma had bought her. All the kids clamored to play with it, bouncing to each other and kicking it against the fence. When someone accidentally kicked it too high and it bounced into the neighbor's yard, nobody could have anticipated what would happen next. Bernard's wife went over and scooped it up. She held the ball in her hands for a few seconds while the kids waited. Everyone expected her to simply toss it back. Please throw it over, Evie pleaded. Instead, she handed it to her husband. He made sure everyone was looking while he fetched a screwdriver from the garden shed. Bernard kept unbroken eye contact with Scott. Then, a satisfied expression came over his face as he slowly and deliberately stabbed the ball. Then, the malicious man clumsily squashed it up in his hands and throttled the air out of it. Scott was incredulous. Ewe screeched. The old man seemed to get so much pleasure out of causing the little girl's tears and wasn't finished yet. Evie cried and cried, but eventually, her mom managed to placate her. Nina just wanted the party to continue as if nothing had happened, but Scott was seeing red. As the day drew on, he grew angrier and angrier. If the neighbors enjoyed their port so much, he'd make sure they'd never enjoy it again. Scott had never been so angry in his life. He wasn't about to just let it go. They had ruined his little girl's birthday. Now, they would have to live with the consequences. His plan was simple. He could see the neighbor's porch from his yard. Every time the miserable old couple came outside, he was ready. Scott thought carefully about all the ways he could make his insufferable neighbor's lives a living hell. He thought about everything from poisoning their lawn to other more harmful measures. But he wasn't a fool. He knew that he couldn't do anything drastic or illegal, so he decided to be an annoyance instead. He'd teach them to make his daughter cry. Every time Scott saw the neighbor sitting on his porch, he'd go to his garage and gleefully fire up his air compressor. Then he'd make a racket with his gas leaf blower in the yard. At first, the neighbors would complain, but they couldn't compete with the noise. Every day, Scott would watch the porch and wait for them. It worked every single time. Scott was obsessed with getting payback, but he could bide his time. He'd do it until the couple died or moved out if he had to. 
He would be a constant reminder of their unacceptable behavior, and he'd never let it go. They soon realized that they had made a huge mistake when they crossed him. Scott continued with his noisy regime for years. True to his word, he never let Bernard and his wife enjoy their backyard ever again. He didn't even pretend that he was doing anything other than making as much noise as he could every time they set foot outside. And every time, he'd drive those miserable neighbors right back inside. 